In a previous video, I touched upon the subject of hypertension. Specifically, I delved into the topic of dietary choices one should make. In this one, I will delve into the topic of specific food items that should be avoided to effectively manage hypertension. For further information, click on the links provided below. If you want to support this channel and see more videos like this, like and subscribe. You can simply do so by clicking here. To commence, it is recommended by the American Heart Association that individuals with hypertension limit their daily sodium intake to 1500 milligrams. That's equivalent to approximately two thirds of a teaspoon. Furthermore, it is advised to limit the daily intake of saturated fats to 20 to 35 percent of one's caloric intake which translates to 44 to 77 grams per day for a diet consisting of 2,000 calories. Therefore, it is recommended to abstain from consuming processed food. Processed foods are often high in added salt, sugar and saturated fats, which can be detrimental to one's health. They encompass a wide array of items including but not limited to canned soup, potato chips, certain types of cheese such as American, sweetened cereals, salad dressing, sweetened yogurt, processed meats like hot dogs and sausages, and instant noodles. Another category of food that should be avoided is the one that's been fried, such as french fries and fried chicken. It is imperative to reiterate the guidelines set forth by the American Heart Association. Consuming fried food in excessive amount can surpass the recommended daily intake. Saturated fats can also be present in food items such as butter, soybean oil, and corn oil. Saturated fats have the potential to cause lipid irregularities and due to their high caloric contents can lead to obesity. Salt is utilized in food preparation for a variety of reasons, including enhancing flavor, serving as an antimicrobial agent, and improving texture. Food items that contain high amount of added salt encompass, but not limited to, jerky, pickles, blue and feta cheese, ham, bacon and olives. Some beverages such as sugar drink, energy drinks and sport drinks can contain high amount of sugar. It's worth mentioning that excessive sugar consumption not only contribute to the development of diabetes, but also elevate body mass index both of which are known independent risk factors for hypertension. Furthermore, these beverages often contain high levels of salt, which on its own can raise blood pressure levels. Additionally, the caffeine present in these beverages can lead to a temporary spike in the blood pressure. The American Heart Association suggests limiting the intake of coffee and opting for alternatives such as green tea. The American Heart Association advises against initiating alcohol consumption and for those who do consume it to limit the amount as it can raise blood pressure and potentially interfere with the effectiveness of certain medications. Subscribe. Bye bye. Don't forget to check out my book, The Obesity Solution. It's available on Amazon and the link is provided below. It has tips on weight loss, low calorie recipes and much more.